What are we actually doing? I don't know. We're gonna paint. Okay. Ow! Oh! What'd you do? <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? I sat on my vape right in my butt. <laughs> <laughs> what if it would have exploded oh, at the same time? God. That hurt. <laughs> this is going in the video. <laughs> All right. Um, this went up my butt. <laughs> look at that. How far do you think you got? A good inch. <laughs> No, I didn't tell you what happened. Well, I was at the I was at the airport going to Mini Wargaming, right? Yeah. And I had to take all my stuff out and put it in the box. And I noticed in the box that there was like a lollipop kind of stuck in the corner. Yeah. And I was like, ugh, I didn't want to think about it. So I threw all my stuff in, including my vape. When it comes out on the other side, the lollipop is all the way inside <laughs> the vape. So gross. <laughs> We're gonna actually do a repainting video. Uh, I ran this scum squad last week and it was lots of fun. So what we're gonna do is I am going to paint it and I'm gonna do it the easy way. I'm going to do a little bit of masking with uh, just some spray primer. So I am going to spray them all Retributor Armor. The most expensive paint you can buy. The most expensive paint, because it actually has literal gold in it. Does it? No. It should, for uh, it the should. price. Uh, next. I'm going to be masking some uh, shapes and designs off, and then we'll be spraying over the mask uh, this camouflage green. And then after that, we're going to do some uh, shading with wash and then picking out highlights, and we should be basically done. So this is just going to be a real quick uh, video on how you can do some repaints real quick, easy, and fun-like. We might do some battle damage and stuff if you guys want to hear see some of that. Do we want to show them battle damage? Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll do some yeah. battle damage. What does a laser wound look like? It's uh, space rocks. That's what the, what's doing the damage. Oh, okay. Space rocks. Gotcha. All right, well, we're going to go and uh, spray these, and we'll be back in a little bit. And now they're gold. That's it. Just spray your retributor. They're nice and shiny. The next step is to do the masking. We're going to probably use uh, a mix of probably just ma uh, painter's tape. We'll just cut up some painter's tape with an X-Acto knife. Just make some crazy designs and put them out. So the gold is just going to be the basically the accent color for these guys, and the green is going to be the the main color. All right, so I'm just using some blue painters tape and an exacto knife, and just cutting cool shapes and designs, kind of running them along so they're right along the contours of the ship. Hopefully there won't be any slippage of spray, but. Anything that's blue is going to be the only thing gold on these ships afterwards. I just started the process with this guy, and uh, we'll be working on it some more, and we'll come back when they're all done. All right, we're back with the Skurgs. I've kind of made some designs. I did straight lines on one side, straight lines on the other, and then I did uh, some tigery stripes on both on the other side to try to pull a pattern together. What I did is I tried to follow along with the actual structure of the ship to make it look kind of cool and exciting. So we're going to go spray the green and we'll be back with those results in just a minute. It's the moment of truth. We've got the green paint on them over the yellow, I mean the gold. Ooh, it's gold. That's pretty. Let's see. Cool. I'm going to finish the rest of this because it looks like it worked and we'll show the end product. And uh, the masking worked pretty well. So as you can see, there's some really cool designs built into these guys. The next step will be to uh, do some washes and then build up some of the extra colors I'll be putting on it. I'm not sure exactly what I'll do. These guys kind of remind me of Boba Fett's uh, cool, cool helmet. So maybe we'll take some inspiration from that since they're scum anyways. But we'll, we'll see in a little bit. i got to work on the masking the other two ships, and we'll be back. All right, we're back with the rest of the ships. I just did some cool designs on here. Not too shabby. It's a little bit more difficult to get the differentiation on the little guys, but I was able to get some cool lines in there. A little bit of the straights, a little bit of the stripes, just a to really bring these all together so they look like they're from the same fleet the same scum fleet the next step will be to do some uh, washes because I like to do some heavy wash uh, to really pull out the details get it grimy and uh, we'll go from there we'll start picking out the details we got everything on bases dried 
we're gonna use some Agrax Earthshade. The, we're just gonna pretty much slop it on and make sure there's uh, no like pooling or anything, but we're not gonna be super careful about this because it's okay if they look kind of dirty. Um, just stop any uh, pooling and you'll be good to go. We just washed the Y-Wing and you can see how much better it already looks with just that wash on, how it looks closer to tabletop. Just a wash. Bam. All right. Kirk's side by side with a wash. Just amazing what a, a little bit of Agrax can do. All right, everything's washed. Looking pretty good. We're going to be using Lead Belcher. I've got air because I'm lazy. Just want to use it out of the pot. And we're going to do some metal bits. Uh, for this, I'm going to focus on the weapons, maybe the air intakes. Um, probably going to do the uh, cockpits with that um, and the engines so guns engines intakes stuff like that stuff that should be metal it's gonna be metal uh, and then after that here no oil um, but yeah we gotta wait for these guys to dry so we'll be back so we've got the uh, lead belcher on it looks pretty good what I've decided before it dries what I'm gonna do is uh, do a little bit of damage so what I'm gonna be doing is taking a little bit of sponge and I'm gonna be doing some battle damage and I'll show you how I do that in just a second all right I'm gonna take the sponge and just tear it so that it's a little uneven we're gonna get some of the lead belcher paint and we're gonna dab it so that's almost completely gone. Then we're gonna dab it to the edges of our ship to do some uh, some battle damage. You can see the effect of that there. Just a little subtle hint. And we're gonna do that on all these ships. And we'll be back when that's done. And here's how that little subtle battle damage looks. Just a little paint scratches, but it really makes these guys look more lived in. Uh, we're gonna do the non oil on all of the silvers again. No oil on all the silvers, not the stuff you just uh, dabbed on, just the stuff you painted on earlier. Is washed. I'm gonna be using a little bit of Runefang steel just to do some metal highlights. I think I might use uh, one accent color uh, just to paint a panel or something on all these ships. I'm gonna decide why I paint this Runefang. All right, Runefang is done. I decided I want to get some yellow on, so I'm going to start with some Talarn Flesh. I'm just going to block out where I want to do it. I think I'm going to do this turret gun here and here, maybe a little panel here, and the same thing here. We'll just do a panel or two on the big guy, just to do a little cool pop of color. Put a little panel out on the top of this guy. I've got a little panel on the wing here, and then I did the back of the turrets on these guys. Gonna let that dry, and then we're just gonna do a base coat of this yellow. But you can use any yellow. You don't have to use the flesh tone over here. You could use a brown of some sort. I just had an old foundation paint, and those co cover pretty good, so I decided to use that. All right, we got the yellow done. We're gonna do one more coat just to make it nice and bright. Second coat is on. We're gonna use Cassandra yellow to uh, shade it. I'm almost out. I'm very sad. Yellow's on, yellow shaded. I am uh, just going to do one more step for these guys, which is when the shade dries, I'm going to do a little bit of the weathering on the yellow, and these guys will be done. And that's it. Because our table ready. Did not take very much time at all. It was a lot of fun. I got to experiment a little. You didn't need an airbrush. You got some really cool patterns. Uh, super easy to do uh, these repaints go ahead and try them use different combinations of colors try some different color rattle cans there's lots of fun stuff that you can do with these guys all right guys this is Josh with cool guys nation hope you enjoyed this video uh, please uh, check us out on Facebook or at coolguysnation.com if you feel like being a cool guy or girl or whoever and want to make a, a, a donation, if you want to become a Patreon, check us out on Patreon, Cool Guys Nation on Patreon. All right, thanks, guys. Have a great one.